Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is my activity demonstration and how it can be used to help uh, ELL students be engaged in the class. So if we start at the top here, uh, the lesson today is island hopping in World War II. Uh, so this is designed for uh, US history class uh, for 10th grade. And it starts off uh, pretty normally with the do now activity. Uh, and it basically has my, the way my class is set up, all my students will have a journal where they will have an entry question to answer and an exit question to answer. And this entry question has just a simple broad uh, question of if you had to invade an enemy, uh, an ocean away, what that controls the islands and waters between you, what strategies would you use to attack them? So pretty broad, it doesn't really require any prior knowledge, just kind of what comes to mind. Uh, and that's the point is to get them thinking about uh, the lesson ahead. Um, for my ELL student uh, students, for this example, I've in my head canon, I've put one ELL student in my class. Um, and she is she has a pretty good grasp of uh, the English language, but can still struggle uh, when it comes to extensive reading. So I think this question should not be a challenge for her, but I also understand her needs and I can be walking around the classroom making sure everybody's staying on task. And if she has questions or needs help, I can help answer. That's kind of one of my preliminary uh, strategies for ELL is to not really differentiate uh, their learning from the rest of the students as much as I can to make them feel included and engaged and on par with their peers. So just me being able to lend an extra hand and help explain, I think can help go a long way with helping her be able to learn the material and be able to engage in activities that the rest of the class is taking part in. So uh, past that point, we would go into our motivational uh, activity for me. I always like to show a clip from a movie. It could be movies that students have seen uh, and that can help engage students with, oh, I've seen that movie before. Um, so for this instance, it's a clip from the movie Flag of Our Fathers. It's kind of older, so I doubt many students will have seen it, but it showcases uh, a scene from the Battle of Iwo Jima when Marines are fighting the Japanese army. And I think that gives a good visual for what we'll be learning about, uh, as well as engage the students with something visual. As for my ELL student, this is also good because it allows her to learn and engage with the material while not having to read. It's purely visual uh, and what she sees on the screen. Now we're getting into the actual activity of our lesson, this being a jigsaw activity. Uh, one of the reasons I really like jigsaws is because uh, it allows the students to split into groups and work alongside their peers to learn about a subsection of the material that is being taught, to then learn about it, prepare a presentation, and then present it to the rest of the class. So not only does it teach students group activity, it teaches them how to write down information that is important and teaches them how to present in front of their peers and give them a taste of public speaking. So I and I have that described here with being split into groups, learning information and preparing a presentation. And then I have four groups. Uh, station one is a video of strategy of island hopping. Uh, station two is a, so a diary entry of an American soldier. So I like using primary sources when applicable. So this is one instance of that. Station three uh, is investigating a map of Japanese controlled Pacific and station four is uh, diary entry from a Japanese soldier's perspective. So each group will split into this, go into each different corners of the room, be separate. Uh, I would give them 10 to 15 minutes to kind of learn about it, take notes on it, and then prepare what they want to talk about. And I have specific questions prepared uh, for each group, so just kind of guiding questions to give uh, students an idea of what they should be learning about. So for our ELL student, I will have predetermined put her in a specific group. And for that group would be station three, investigating the map, which is this right here. And it shows the extent of uh, Japanese controlled Pacific. And one of the questions I have is what makes this theater different from the European theater? And very obviously it's mostly water. Uh, this isn't you know, going across countrysides or farmlands and making front lines that way. This is traveling across vast swaths of ocean to find small islands, small encampments, and working your way to the Japanese main isles. Uh, so that's one of the big questions I have them answering and just kind of investigating how, hearkening back to the opener, the, the do now activity, what might you do uh, 
to combat this? How would you go about defeating the Japanese in this sense? Uh, and Station One watch, is watching a video on that strategy as they will learn is called island hopping. Uh, so this is a good way of bringing multiple facets of information together. Uh, the strategy video group, they will learn about why island hopping happened, why it's important and why it was done. While this group has the visual of the map and the challenges. So when both groups present, the student body gets a more complete picture. Uh, I also think this is important for the L ELL student as she uh, doesn't have much reading to do. It's once again, mostly visual. And she also has her peers around her uh, to help uh, lean against and uh, work together with uh, to come up with the answers and to learn about uh, this instance, uh, this piece of group work. As some of the other two, such as the American Diary and the Japanese Diary, uh, are very reading heavy, and it can be hard to read as it's a primary source, uh, as just pictures of diaries. So that could be challenging, like for a regular English uh, speaker, let alone an English language learner. So I think this is a very uh, Go, a good piece of group work for her to do as she's doing the same work as other members of her group, yet she can still be engaged uh, and write down information. Which then brings us back to the PowerPoint I have after all the groups are complete. It will then lead into a discussion and these are four questions I have. What did you find interesting? What made this different from the war in Europe? Which her group, uh, group number three, could answer very easily as that's what they've been learning and hopefully the rest of the class can as well as they've taken notes on the presentation. Uh, and then for groups two and four, what did you learn on the diary entries? And then finally, any further questions? So this is a good uh, wrap together where me as the, I as the instructor can facilitate this discussion for any lingering questions or say if a group didn't quite present all the information I wanted them to, I can plug in and give supplemental information, which is one of the reasons why I love jigsaws as it allows, it's very student-centered learning. It allows them to find the content, to find what's important, and then to present it. It's, I, it's very hands-off for me. I am only a, a moderator in this instant, or if students are having trouble, I can help them if needed. I won't you know, completely throw them to the wolves. Uh, and that's why I find jigsaws very useful. And like I said earlier, it's useful for ELL learners because you can handpick them into groups that would suit them best. For this instance, I put her into a more visual group uh, that does not involve much heavy reading. So after the discussion, then I would finally come into the closure, which is once again answering it in their journal. Uh, was island hopping necessary to end the war or could something else be used to bring the Japanese to surrender? And this uh, kind of will lead us into uh, the next lesson, which would be the end of the war. And as they'll learn, uh, there was a different strategy used to end the war, that being the atomic bombs. Uh, so it allows them as a closing thought to kind of take what they have learned and give them a critical thinking question of, was this worth it? And so not only did they have the, uh, the strategy and the picture to learn about Island Hawk, but they also had the individual diaries, one from an, an American soldier and from a Japanese soldier. So that gives them a more personable look into the history of this. Uh, and that would not have been possible if I was just straight lecturing. This level of engagement allows them to kind of be motivated to critically think uh, in this aspect. So in conclusion, this uh, has been my jigsaw activity, my take on a jigsaw activity and how it can, uh, on how it can uh, affect and help ELL learners. And I think it is a great activity to use, not only for uh, an entire student body, a student-centered learning, uh, but also to help ELL learners feel engaged and included with their peers and allow them to do the same work their peers are doing to not make this uh, difference in ability between students. So thank you.